Okay, so Be'ezras Hashem, we are continuing with our weekly series of Shirim on the Zohar Kadosh, the Zohar on the Parsha, and our attempt, as always, is to reveal the inherent connection between the Torah of the Raya Mehemna, the Torah of Moshe Rabbeinu, and the Torah of the Butzina Din Hora, the Torah of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, to be Megala, the Koyach of the Chachma of Moshe Rabbeinu, and the secret of Min Hamayim Mishisihu, that's Miskala specifically through the Eish, through the Bina, through the Pratim of Rabbi Shimon, so that when we can draw down the collective Chachma of Moshe Rabbeinu associated with the ever-flowing nature of water into the particular vessels of the fire of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, then we have the capacity of drawing down the Shalom HaMufla between Chachma and Bina to be Megala, the secret of Kesar itself, which is that Moshe Rabbeinu himself is the one who gives us the Koyach of Rashbi. Alisa Lamar Veshivisa Shevi, Lakachas Matanas from Bnei Adam, that Moshe Rabbeinu has the Koyach, only Moshe Rabbeinu has the Koyach of descending down from that lofty place, from Rosh HaPiska, down into the particularity of the Neshamos of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Rabbi Akiva, where in the end of the day, after Moshe Rabbeinu sees that Rabbi Akiva knows all of these particularities and the particulars of particulars that Moshe Rabbeinu doesn't seem to have access to, there's an element of Chalash Daisei, the Das of Moshe which is the foundational point of each and every neshama, seems to lose a little bit of its strength. Until afterwards, Rabbi Akiva says, that in truth, everything that is going to be revealed, everything that appears to be separate and removed and inaccessible to the light of Moshe Rabbeinu is ultimately just an extension of the light of Moshe Rabbeinu that is being revealed through the Kayach of Moshe Rabbeinu, but the Das of Moshe can't be aware of that because the unfolding process of every point of knowledge and awareness and light is just the Das of Moshe itself coming into further relief and being revealed to the point where everything that appears to be separate from the Das of Moshe, from that klal of the Torah Shabbat Sav, will eventually be shown to be part and parcel and contained within the Das of Moshe, but that can only take place through the tzimtzum of the Das of Moshe seemingly being removed, the Chachma being removed, and allowing for the particularity to emerge, allowing for all of the Sha'arim, all of the 49 Panim Tahor, 49 Panim Tameh, that represent the 49 Sha'ari Bina that were given over to Moshe Rabbeinu, but the Chasar Achas, the Shahanu that was seemingly missing from Moshe Rabbeinu, even though it was given over, it was given over in a way of sensing that it was missing, is so that the Das of Moshe can slowly but surely express itself throughout the history of existence, throughout the Shis Afei Shanam Dahave Alma, Moshe Rabbeinu, the Das of Moshe is all that exists. The Das of Moshe is the Das of Enun Movadu. It's the light that HaKadosh Baruch Hu reveals within this world to Nishma Sisrael, that Nishma Sisrael has the capacity of being Masik, the Pnimiyas Hadas and the Pnimiyas Haratzon of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which is Chela Kashem Amma, which is the secret of Yisrael Asher Bacha Espire. That's the secret of Moshe Rabbeinu, who always had the capacity of intuating the true Das of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which was to be Malam Yitzchus on Kala Yisrael, like the Das of all of the Tzadikim Amitim and the five expressions of Moshe Rabbeinu that come down throughout history in the element of the Chamisha Yechide Hadoros of Moshe Rabbeinu Rashbi, of Rabbeinu Ha'ariz HaLabar Shem Tav HaKadosh, and Rabbi Nachman Nacham Levi Makor Chachma. But every Talmud Chacham, every single Talmud Chacham, every person who contemplates words of Torah, any person who tries to hold on to the vestiges of the system of Torah that remains in its unchanging status, Torah Sashem Tamima, the Torah of Moshe is Tamima, that every person who attempts to draw down vitality from the Torah itself into Tzvi into the Chayesha of this world is engaged in the process of revealing the Das of Moshe. The Das of Moshe is the, the sum total of what we're trying to do in our role as human beings, as Yidin, throughout the process of history, is to be Megala more and more of the Das of Moshe to the point that when we reveal the particular point of Moshe Rabbeinu from within ourselves, it joins together with the collective mind of Moshe, thereby completing the Das of Moshe, which is the entrance of the Das of Moshe from Chutzlar, it's into Eretz Yisrael, which is the secret of Mahu Mashem Beno and the secret of Mashiach Sidkenu, that the Orachayim HaKadosh tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu is going to be the Das of Mashiach Sidkenu, that lo kam navi od kamosha. That there's not going to be anybody like Moshe who has the ability of discerning all the levels, all the levels of the imagination to the degree that he could refine everything that his nevua is capable of entering into that place of isha kushis lakach. That Yaakov Avinu was able to encounter Leah. 
But Yaakov Avinu did not want to have a relationship with Timna, as the Halig Chesed Avram points out. But ultimately, the Tachlis of Moshe Rabbeinu is to be Mizachich, all of the elements of Leia, which mean all of the elements of unconscious imagination that seems to be devoid of the illuminating light of the Torah. And the process of the unfolding of history is each and every person coming in contact with those places in themselves that appear to be removed from the light of Moshe, processing them to reveal the Das of Moshe that exists within it, so that those experiences can now go back into the element of Taurus Moshe being mashlum the Das of Moshe and drawing down the Das Ha'amiti and the Das the Dechura, as the Commander Rebbe says, the ability to see Ayin Ba'ayun Yiru B'Shuv Hashem Tzion, that we have the ability of seeing eye to eye in the Hasag of Moshe Rabbeinu, B'mar Avalobedimyon, he saw it without any imagination, but Moshe Rabbeinu was Masig the Panim El Panim, which is the inability to be Masig Panim El Panim, but that's the secret of the Das of Moshe. The Das of Moshe is buried in a place that is inaccessible. Why is the Das of Moshe buried in a place that's inaccessible? Because the Tachlis of the Das of Moshe is that we should be able to uncover our own Das of Moshe, then we reveal to ourselves that we ourselves are an element of Moshe Rabbeinu. If it were revealed, then there would be no mission. If it were revealed, then there would be no need to descend down deep into the into the concealment of this world in order to be Megala and to be Mizachich, the Nitzitz of Moshe Rabbeinu that rests within that place in order to bring Moshe Rabbeinu into the element of Eretz Yisrael. If it was directly into Eretz Yisrael, then the Beis HaMikdash would have been built and it would have never been destroyed, as the Helig and Megala Amukos points out, who is a Helig of Moshe Rabbeinu like every Yid. And then the entire process of exile and the refinement of all of the Pratim to be Megala, how deeply powerful the Klal actually is and the secret of the Tesefes Kishot would not have been accessible to one degree or another. And therefore the Das of Moshe and is an exile, and therefore it has to be hidden in the Talmud Love Hagunle, in that place, in that burial place that is inappropriate for itself. That in truth, the vessels that contain the most potent forms of spiritual awareness seem to be devoid. They seem to be the Das that the Tzadikim give us in order to process ourselves in times of concealment. Why should it be that the Das of Moshe Rabbeinu is reserved for a person to push themselves forward in states of concealment, in the secret of Vayivarich Moshe, that Moshe has to run away, Moshe has to uncover the secret of the your Miklat. Moshe has to be able to run and escape from this world immediately. He has to be able to run from the lowest place to the highest place immediately because Moshe Rabbeinu says Rabbi Nachman is wedged between heresy and Ratzon. Moshe Rabbeinu stands in that breach that separates us from our lowest parts of ourselves and the highest parts of ourselves and the smooth translatability that enables a person to go from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top immediately. Now we want to get rid of having to go to the bottom. We want to be able to get rid of having to go to the bottom, even though there'll always be a descent downwards. That descent downwards, as the Rebbe has been speaking about, has to be so fast that a person has the ability to realize that it's as if I never actually left the realm of Yichud. The Das Moshe has to be brought back up above, but in order for it to be revealed fully back up above, it first and foremost has to have an element of tarrying down below so that it can be revealed to to be the Chiddush that it is, which is why, says Rabbi Nachman, that the Das of Moshe is wedged between heresy, which is Gematria 344, and Ratzon, which is desire and connectivity, which is 346, Moshe Rabbein is 345. He's wedged in between the two of them to reveal that all of the territory that is not yet revealed to be part and parcel of Amunas Yisrael and the Torah Hashem Timima stands at the ready to be revealed through the Das of Moshe, Min Hamayim Meshisu, Moshe has that ore of Kitov that can illuminate light upon each and everything in reality. And all all that is, is our minds. Our mind is the Das of Moshe. Our mind is the thing that is wedged between heresy and desire. Our mind is the thing that's buried in the Beten Hanachash. It's buried in that elongated vav of Kola Halacha Gachon, in the secret of the Mechikik, that Moshe Rabbeinu is buried in Tzalmud of Hagunle, in the place that is most inappropriate for itself, because the only way to refine those concealment elements of our lives that nothing else works on, is revealing the innermost Das of Moshe, Kadas Moshe of Yisrael, the secret of Moshe Rabbeinu, the secret of ancient Yeshua Elam the secret of Vayikra Moshe and the Aleph Zeira, which is the secret of that tiny Aleph that remains no matter what, and the secret of Tshuva, and the secret of Ben Ba'ayil, Ben Benafak, of Ratzav Shov, Kemari Habazak, that Moshe Rabbeinu was able to run and return, go up and come back down. Moshe Rabbeinu is the secret of Ram Hemnu Nasaba, the Nachash Breach and the Nachash Akhlason, the Dasta Dukhura and the Dasta Nukva, the ability to connect Torah Shabbat and Torah Shabbat through the secret of the Yud Gimel Mido, Shatoran Nidrashas Behen, which is the Gematria of Ahava, which is the Gematria of Begai, where Moshe Rabbeinu was buried. Moshe Rabbeinu was buried in that secret of Yud Gimel, which is the secret of the Yud Gimel Midosh, which are the Yud Gimel 
Midas Arachamim, as the Heilige Tzadikim point out, which is why the Tzadikim, they stroke their beards when they're learning to be Ma'ir, the Yud Gimel Midas Arachamim, through the Yud Gimel Tikkun Edikna, and that place of Moshe Rabbeinu is the revelation of above, below, and below, back above, and that's the Das of Moshe. And the Heilige Gura says, and this is the Sugi of the Gura, really, that each and every person, each and every Talmud Chacham, each and every thought of Torah is really an illumination of the Das of Moshe within the individual. And that's the secret of Moshe Shapir Ka'amart. And this is brought down the Halacha by the Sadeh, by Rav, Sh Rav Shaul, Rav Shaul Dweck HaKohen, Shus Yoganaleinu, the, the Batler Harishon, the blind beggar who was able to see farther than anybody else, and therefore he was blind in the secret of Sagi Nohor, and his Biur of the Eifah Shlema on the Eifah Shlema on Otsar Sayim, and the Eifah Shlema is also the Evan Shlema, it's the secret of the Gra as well, but he brings from the Lashon of the Gra, pointing out that every Talmud Chacham and each and every Neshama, Kodem Geula is going to be Nechshav as the Das of Moshe Rabbeinu. And this is really the Tachlis, as the Rebbe's been speaking about so much, and all the Tzadikim are talking about, the Tachlis is to bring Moshe Rabbeinu back into Eretz Yisrael, to reveal how all of the pause, all of the concealment, all of the Tzimtzum, all of the difficulty, all of the Nachash orientation of all of it, all of the Paro nature of it all, Mitzrayim, the palace of Paro, all of the concealment, all of the the frightening forms of difficulty that a person goes through, all of it is just there in order to illuminate and extend the territory of the Das of Moshe. And when a person has the ability of illuminating their minds with Das and centering their attention on the particular point in front of them and learning how to survive in exile, even though attention is that which is most far from me, nevertheless, to be machaber myself to the Nakuda of Moshe within myself, to have that particular point, point of Kedas Moshe of Yisrael, where each and everything becomes a makum of... of the Sneb Boer Ba'esh, where there's a, a paradox taking place at every moment that is illuminating from the most concealed place, the most illuminated light imaginable, that secret of the Sneb Boer that the Maggid points out, the ugliness burns, but it doesn't negate from the light, and that's the secret of the unity that comes out of difference, that's the secret of Moshe Rabbeinu, that's the secret of the Raya Mahemna, that's the secret of Uman Yushalayim, Echad Shushlayim, Uman Yushalayim, to uncover the secret das of the Tzaddik in the place, that the burial place that's not appropriate for him, the Tzalmud, the Love Hogan Lein, Chutzlarts, and then to be Mashlam, the Avoid of bringing the Tzaddik and revealing the true resting place of the Tzaddik in Yushalayim Yer Kodesh, in the Koitel by the place of Mibain Shnei Hakpruvim, which is Rosh Tevos Moshe, to the degree that, as Chazal have already said, that even though Moshe Rabbin was buried outside Mul Beis Pa'or, Kanaged, that, that filth, can I get the disgusting place of concealment, the lowest imaginable klipa of pa'or that takes physicality and the hedonistic impulse and out of the, the hopelessness of the spirit, it says all one can do is operate in the state of the body even though Moshe Rabbeinu is buried in that place nevertheless when Moshe Rabbeinu was nifter, his neshama also came by way of Eretz Yisrael, he was transformed into a tzipur in Eretz Yisrael and he went by way of Mara Samachpela and the neshama Moshe Rabbeinu was also by Mara Samachpela and it's also by Meiron, it's also by the place of Rashbi, but now the Iker place of the tzura, of the, the, the burial place of Moshe Rabbeinu is by the Kota Ma'aravi, Mibain Shnei Akruvim, in the secret of Ir David, you go to Kever David, as the Rebbe has been talking about, to connect oneself to the externality of Malchus in order to come and attach himself to the innermost das of Moshe Rabbeinu, which is the secret of Mibain Shnei Akruvim, which is a secret of the precise point of significance, the Mechoykeik, that ability to engrave my das, to reveal the Minamayim Mishisu, the Chesed Ilah, and the illumination of all things. That's what we're trying to to do when we're bringing the neshama of Moshe Rabbeinu into Amitzias, into Eretz Yisrael. So, and this is the time period that we find ourselves in as we get ready for Rosh Hashanah. And also, it's going to be the parsha, Kitetse Lenochama, when a person goes out into battle, when a person has to go out into the opposition of the world, where a person has to go out into the chutzlaritz of the world, into the opposition of Moshe, into the das de klipa, into the place of Bilam, into the tzam of the love hogunle, into the place of all of the concealment and the death of the year, it's specifically there that Moshe Rabbeinu is going to find full access and the emergence into Eretz Yisrael. So, kitetze le milchama alevecha, when you encounter the oivim, when you encounter difficulty, when you encounter achorayim and doubt and concealment and heresy and all of the things that go over the Jewish mind in each and every moment that it's paying attention, every moment of opportunity to be mamtik, all of the dinim, all of that is the milchama, all of that is the shaloka seder, all of the things, as Rabbeinu says, that are not going the way that they need to be going. When the aleph bays is mibulbal, and it seems that the tough is before the aleph, and the bays is after the shin, and there's all of this bilbul hamoichen, and there's no place to rest one's head, there's no place to find comfort, that's the place of achor, that's the place of 
the OCO is going the wrong way. That's the Kitetze the Muhammad. But ultimately, the tachas and the mulchama is to then take those osios that are operating in the wrong way and to transform them into sirufim chadashim to reveal the new koyach of the Taurus Moshe, which we've been talking about, which is the luchos rishonos that are mislabish within the luchos shnios, the secret of David Melech, who is mislabish within the, the kalim of Moshe, and Moshe is mislabish within the kalim of David Melech to receive both the koyach of Taurus Shebachsav and Taurus Vapeh, the concealment and the revelation itself. And all of the concealment is revealed to have been part and parcel of the revelation itself. So the Achor, the Kedem Tzartani, the fact that I have to first and foremost go B'derech Melchama and I have to fight against the body in order to then come to a place of revealing the secret of the body and the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is resting specifically within the, the body of Moshe and bringing Moshe Rabbeinu into Eretz Israel. So it could be a Neshama Beguf in the secret of Moshe Rabbeinu's Rebbe being Matatron, but Moshe Rabbeinu's body also being Mekosher to the secret of Matatron. And the Rebbe asked the Shaila, how is it possible that the body on the one hand is Matat and the teacher on the one hand is Matat? But Zat the Rebbe, that the Ikran Kud of Moshe is to reveal how the body itself is the the teacher, how the katnas and the chisaron of the Adam itself is the teacher. And that's why in this week's parsha, perhaps, in the Raya Mehemna, the Chiluk of Moshe Rabbeinu, we find this element in terms of the relationship to the burial place of Moshe Rabbeinu and the value that it offers us as we find ourselves struggling to survive with the, the faith necessary to bring out the light of Geula from within Galus itself. Sap the Heliga Raya Mehemna, the Zohar Kadosh An Da'af Reish in this parsha, it talks about your death. Talk about the self awareness of a text. It talks about your death. Moshe Rabbeinu, you're going to die in this week's parsha. Lahu Alma talks about your ascendancy to the next world. It talks about your departure from this world. The chsiv for it's written. El har ha'ivriyim hazeh har nevo. You should ascend up to har ivriyim har nevo nun bo. The secret of shah nun. V'ra'isa osoven asafta el amecha. And you should go out and you should look beyond onto the land and you'll be gathered to your people. Kashen asif aharon achicha. The same way that Moshe that aharon your brother was collected to his people. So that's this week's parsha. Bahai parshasa islacha la ahadra la alma. But nevertheless, Moshe Rabbeinu, in spite of the fact that you're concealed in this week's Parsha, you die in this week's Parsha, nevertheless, it's this week's Parsha that is going to bring you back into the world, and to find life again, in order to enter into Eretz Yisrael, in order to connect yourself to this Parsha, that all of it is yours, and for that reason, it's written in the Torah, I'm going to give you the gift of peace, Moshe Rabbeinu, right now, you don't have the gift of peace, Moshe Rabbeinu, right now, you're buried in Chutzlar. It's right now you're buried in the Tzam of the Love Hagunlay. But the Brisi Shalom is going to be there. And therefore, not only do you die in this week's parsha, but you come back in this week's parsha as well. Over here, HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't say go down to the mountain, implying a certain descent, but rather ascend up the mountain. Go to that Sharnun, go to that secret Sharnun, which is both part of Bina, which is Chutzlar, it's and part of Eretz Yisrael, which is the secret of Chachma, and it's the Chibur between the two of them. That's the and the Shriel Shaloya da Ace, and that's the reason that Loya da Isha is Kfurasso, because the moment that Moshe Rabbeinu died is the moment that he was revealed within each and every individual, as the Heligam Orinayim points out. That why is it that we don't know where the burial place of Moshe Rabbeinu is? Loya da Isha is Kfurasso. And why is it that Chazal described the paradoxical relationship of those who are below seeing it as if it's above, and those who are above seeing it at as if it's below. And the secret is that Moshe Rabbeinu is buried in the very depths of each and every one of us and a person cannot be masig the pnimius etzem of their nefesh and therefore calls man that we can't be masig the pnimius of ourselves, we can't be masig that place of Moshe Rabbeinu because in truth the place of Moshe Rabbeinu is the place beyond the graspability in the self. It's the secret of Reish Lois Yada. It's the secret of the unknowability of the self and the capacity of the self to attune itself to the goodness and to say Baruch Sha'am Ravahaya Ha'olam and therefore because Moshe Rabbeinu is buried in that deep place that we can't possibly know because it represents the chilek aloi kamimal, so too we don't know the burial place of Moshe Rabbeinu. And this week's parsha represents that secret of the concealment of Moshe's burial place and the revelation of Moshe's burial place, which is paradoxically taking place at the same exact moment in the secret of the tzimtzum, which is Magala, and the gilui, which is Mitzamsin. So, 
the Hakadosh Baruch Hu says to Moshe, "Go up to this mountain. Don't descend." The implication is that this is still going to be a perpetual ascent. Because it's specifically from that place that you're going to enter into the land of Eretz Yisrael. Specifically at that point of departure, at that point of concealment, that the emergence is going to take place afterwards. Umada Amarbach, and that which is written about you, Velo Yada Ish as Kuraso Ad Hayom Hazeh. That no individual will know the burial place until this day. What does it mean that we don't know the burial place of Moshe? What does it mean that we don't know the geographic location? It means that we're not aware that the topless is to bury Moshe Rabbeinu in Eretz Yisrael, to bring Moshe Rabbeinu into Eretz Yisrael through our own minds. Woe to those who have a closed heart and closed eyes, because the, the heart and the eyes are the shorish of dimyon, that what the eyes see, the heart desires, and Moshe Rabbeinu is the capacity to be, transform the ene ha-chachma and the, the binas halev into the expression of keser itself, that woe to those whose hearts are closed, whose binas is closed, steam and de'enen, their chachma is not open, the lo yade, so you have the re'iya, you have the, the, the heart, and you have the das, chachma bin and das, woe to those who don't have the moichin properly to refine them, their minds to become the receptacle of your das to the point of moishe shapir ka'amars, that they don't know lo yada klura dileich, they don't know where you're actually buried. They think you're buried in the belly of the snake, they think you're buried in Wolpa'or, they think you're buried in Chutzlaretz. The havis and bayirach me bekutshibirichu de lo yaya lecha bahahu kvira kvura de ba ant metkare meis. Because all that we need to do is to daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and to demand from HaKadosh Baruch Hu the Rachamim that Moshe Rabbeinu not enter into that Kvura in Chutz Laretz where he's going to be referred to as dead. We have to ensure the, the Chayim of Moshe Rabbeinu specifically by drawing him out of that place into the Kvura HaAmiti, which is the Kvura of Eretz Yisrael. This is what the Pasuk says, Moshe Avdi Meis, Moshe Avdi Meis, that Moshe Rabbeinu dies, V'inun Tipshe Amrin, and these foolish ones say, "V'chi Moshe have a mefached me misa lenafke me ha alma la alma da asi kishar birian." Are you telling me that Moshe Rabbeinu was fearful about leaving this world and expiring and departing this world like other human beings were? V'inun lo yadan de kvura di leich de Moshe di leich echu dahachi ukma mari masnisa. How could it possibly be? How could it possibly be? They don't know. The reason they think that Moshe Rabbeinu is worried about death like everybody else is because they don't know the true secret of your burial place and the secret of your death. They don't know how it's going to be explained by Torah Shabal Peh. By Torah Shabal Peh, by the secret of the Tanoim, by the secret of the Amoron, by the secret of the Das of Moshe, of Kalas Moshe, of Isha Kushis Lakach, of the secret of Torah Shabal Peh, the secret of Yif and Kova Ko, Yichud of Shema Yisrael, and the Yichud of Baal Shem Kavod Malchus Alambad. Moshe Rabbeinu was called a train Mashiach, and as we see earlier in Kitetse, in the secret of Mashiach ben David and Mashiach ben Yosef. Moshe Rabbeinu has Torah Shabal Sav and Torah Shabal Peh, Moshe and Rabbi Akiva together. Those who only think there's Moshe and that's dead outside of Eretz Yisrael don't have the possibility of understanding the true nature of Moshe. Rabbeinu's death, which is mean they don't understand the burial place of Moshe. When it talks about Moshe Rabbeinu's death and those who live in Chutz Laaretz, so those who have a Chutz Laaretz orientation, when it says that they're not alive, it doesn't mean that they're not going to be alive in the future. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be an accessibility into the light of Eretz Yisrael. If that was the case, they would be a koifer and triasamesim. They would have the inability of realizing how it's the mum itself, the mum imivro, and the difficulty itself, and the end of the shame mem base, and the end of the shame ayim base, which is mem vav mem. It's specifically from there that those nakudos are going to be mayor the guf itself to be magala the secret of triasamesim. Woe to those who feel that Moshe Rabbeinu is dead in chutzlar, it's and incapable of entering into Eretz Yisrael. Elahacha raza ravriva. But rather, there is a profound secret here in Raza's Gematria Yitzchak. Raza Ravriva Kvrura Dilei B'Talmud Lav Hagunale. In truth, Moshe Rabbeinu, the burial place that you find right now, that Selim, that contains you, that Chashmal, that has transformed into darkness, it's not in accordance with what you truly deserve. The Lav Hagunle, it's not where you should be, Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu, your burial place in Chutz Laretz is not where you should be. The Ihi Eret Sia Ve'ayif Mayim. It's the place of yearning, it's the place of no water. Ve'ein Mayim Ela Torah, there's no Torah there, there's no illumination of the mind there, there's no comfort when a person's mind is stuck in that Chutzlar, its orientation. But nevertheless, Moshe Rabbeinu, you remain buried there. You remain buried in that Eretz Siyah, the Ayif Belimayim. 
where there's no Torah, in that place of me bein hashmad or bein haratzon, in that vav, that elongated vav of gachon, in the life of every yid, in the process of every yid's mind. Uba lo tayr lo v'lo hadar. Over there, it's not beautiful for you. It's ugly there. There's no redemption there. Uman the chazile b'hahut salma. And someone who looks at you in that burial place, Moshe Rabbeinu, someone who looks at the Torah in that burial place and the way it functions in exile, and they see it and there's no beauty there and there's nothing that awakens the eyes. And this is the Nevu of Yeshaya that says, that the, the servant will get up and it will reveal how all of the concealment of this world was in truth going to be the stepping stone and the and the, the footstool of a Kaddish Baruch Hu Kaviachol and the secret of the legless beggar who's dancing and bringing their feet down to the ground to reveal how down in the ground itself is going to be the highest level in the Afar Va'anach Numa. That Nevuah is coming to talk about you, Moshe Rabbeinu. It's talking about the uncovering process of Moshe Rabbeinu within the Dor Acharon. Ubegin ha'hu kfura have bayi rachme v'lo yomuz teiman. And that's why Moshe Rabbeinu was seeking out rachamim, not to get stuck in chutzlar. It's not to get stuck in that place where we can see that Moshe Rabbeinu is being buried in that fallen place. Bechutzlar. It's why lufum dahave aret saya ra'av v'ayif v'tsamva belimayim di'i yoraisa. That it's that place of thirst without satisfaction. But that's not the end-all, be-all, Moshe Rabbeinu. That's not where Moshe Rabbeinu is buried fully. The Neshama of Moshe Rabbeinu is buried also in Eretz Yisrael, as HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Megala to the Tzadikim. It Marleh said, Allah el hahar ha'ivri mazeh, go up to that har, go up, don't descend, don't descend only into Chutzlaretz, don't stabilize the process of the Torah in that Chutzlaretz orientation, but rather bring it into Eretz Yisrael, bimashlim, the full tikkun, which is taking the Torah from the Shis Chalin into the Heichal Hashvi, which is the Heichal of Kodesh HaKadoshim, which is being Megala the Kedusha of the Guf and the Osios themselves, may Shiflu but specifically from that shiflusa, from that shiflus, from that lowliness, from that concealment in the Tzamadul of Hagunle, in that place of inappropriateness, in that place of concealment of lo yada ishes kvaraso. Ma'alisa. That's where the illumination is going to come from. That's where the Tchia is going to come from, and that's what's going to illuminate the power of Eretz Yisrael when we're nichlal, the secret of Chutzlar, it's within it itself. Afagav de'ant kavur Even though you're currently buried in a place that is inappropriate for you. Arum below levushin dilach. Naked without any of the garments that protect you, the chashmal elyon that shines forth in the zahiru ilah, in the guf of Moshe Rabbeinu. The Inun or the Basar, which is the skin and the flesh of Moshe Rabbeinu, that illumination of the Zahira Ilah, which is concealed, where the body of Moshe still appears to be devoid, where we're not capable of translating the Torah into the Shir Maruba, into the speaking to the body itself. No Venad Ke'eser Dilech Metaltel Vagalia that it's moving back and forth in a state of exile from one place to another as if it doesn't have a Kli that can hold it. But we see how Pinchas the Avi does Tiva Ime. But when it comes to Pinchas, who was the Shiach of Moshe Rabbeinu, to be Lochen, connected the Klipa of Paor. When it came to Pinchas and the goodness that he performed for you, Itmar Alach had said about him, that he receives the bris of Shalom, the Yichud of Chachman Bina, the Shviel Shalom Yada Ais, the secret of the Reisha Dlois Yada. Just like by Pinchas HaKadosh Baruch who carries out this Racham and Rabbim, so too, all the more so by you, Moshe Rabbeinu, HaKadosh Baruch who is going to bring out the full redemption at the end of this parsha, not only your death, but your rebirth in the secret of Tchiyas HaMesim and Mashiach Sidkenu of Masha Hayo Hushiyiyah in the secret of Ad Ki Yavo Shiloh. Shiloh is the Gemachi of Moshe. The Ba Kala Dilach, Yer Kala, the Isha Kushis, the secret of Malchus Sheba Malchus, the Guf itself, Eretz Yisrael, the Kala Dilach, that place that the light of Moshe has to illuminate and be revealed in. Teiman Tes It's specifically in Eretz Yisrael where you're going to have that state of unification where the lowest part imaginable is going to be illuminated with the highest level imaginable, the secret of the Yichud of Chachma within Malchus itself, of Abiyas Abrata. Kechasanim Kalasa. Like the Chassan with his Kala, like Knesset Israel with the like the Zeranpin with the Shrina, Kud Shabrihu Vishrinte, Torah and Tfila. Hope and hopelessness. The Ha'ant, 
you, Rabbi, you Moshe Rabbeinu To'eles Gadol Yisrael B'Kvura Secha. There is a tremendous benefit to Klal Yisrael in your Kvura. And like in your lifetime, Moshe Rabbeinu, that you sacrificed everything for Klal Yisrael, so too in your death you were willing to descend down into the places of concealment just so that Klal Yisrael should have a Shmira and that Klal Yisrael should be protected. That's the Ikr Tachlis. And when we can recognize that that's the Ikr Tachlis of Moshe Rabbeinu's Das, that's how we bring Moshe Rabbeinu's Das into Eretz Yisrael. That Moshe Rabbeinu's full Das is the Das of Klal Yisrael. And it's there in order to ensure that Klal Yisrael is able to stand upon their Das. That's the Mesir Nefesh of the Tzadikim. That's the Mesir there's a profound toelis gadol yisrael b'kvur secha ilo havis kavur lebar me'ara kadisha lebar kekala dileich Moshe Rabbeinu, if you were not buried outside of Eretz Yisrael, if you did not allow yourself to be buried separate from your kala, separate from the secret of Eretz Yisrael, lo havi yisrael nafkin megalusa. Klal Yisrael would not have the capacity to survive in exile. It's the Das of Moshe, it's the Ratzon of Moshe that gives us the ability to survive every ounce of exile. Moshe Shapir Ka'amart, Moshe Shapir Ka'amart, Moshe Shoifer, the Shofar is the ability of Moshe Shapir Ka'amart, the Shofar, the, the Zichuch, the waking up that takes place from the Shofar and the secret of the Shepashat Kavl Meshul Shemruba, which is Rosh Tevos Kashofar, Harim Kalech Kashofar, is a secret of Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Shapir Ka'amart, Moshe Rabbeinu, it's you who enables us to be Meshapir or Maisim to come back to her, the Rabboni Shleilam and Tshuva. Without you, we wouldn't have had the ability to do it. And it's with regards to you that it's written, He suffers as a result of our Pashenu. That he leaves the place of Shabbos and he enters into the place of Chol. Moshe Rabbeinu is no longer in Eretz Yisrael, but now he's found in Aleph Yom and the Chol, in the long extended process of history, waiting, 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 Mul Beis Pa'or to be revealed with the arrival of Mashiach Tzadkenu. Of, of the Yichud of Moshe and Train Mashiachim. Begin Choyev of the Pesha de Yisrael, as the Heilig Ramchal explains fundamentally clearly without any reasonable questioning whatsoever in Kinas Hashem Tzavakos, all of these concepts of Moshe Rabbeinu and Mashiach. I begin Choyev of the Pesha de Yisrael, Bekvura Dileich, you suffer as a result of the, the need for Klai Yisrael to have protection. That's why you're in Chutz Laaretz, Moshe Rabbeinu. The Itmar Bach, the Pasuk says, V'yikvar Oysa Begay, that you're buried in that place. What is that place? Bez, Gimel, Yud, Aleph, and the secret of the Yun, Gimel, Midos, Arachamim, as the Vilna Gon points out, and the secret of the Yun, Gimel, Midos, Shator, and Nidrashas, Behem, as the Gra points out in the Yud Gimel Tikkun Dikna, in the beard, in the in the in the Zakan, in the extension, in the Mata Moshe. That's where Moshe Rabbeinu remains buried, in the secret of Ahava, in the secret of Echa, the capacity for us to re-spark the love and the connectivity over and over. Maksiv b'kvur dileich. What is it written uh, with regards to your burial place? Kol geya yinase, kol shafar v'namuch yinase. All of that, all of the valleys will be lifted, all that which is despised and low will be elevated. As a result of you, Moshe Rabbeinu, all of that place of concealment, every pocket of concealment and exile is going to be revealed to have been another opportunity to reveal the Yud Gimomido Shatar and Jashas Bahem, to reveal another connection point between every Prat of Chutzlaretz, which is the Sugi and Shas, in order to connect it back to the Pnimi Satoru of Tarsha Bechsav, which is the Bukhin of Eretz Yisrael. All of that, every level is going to be transformed into a mountain. And those mountains are going to sing forth the name of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And that's all the secret of the Shir of Moshe. Az Yashir Moshe. Az Yashir Moshe. The song of the Aleph. The song of the lower Yud of the Aleph, which is Bittl, connecting to the upper Yud of the Aleph, which is the recognition of being Mamlech HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And then the Vav, which is drawing Moshe Rabbeinu back into Eretz Yisrael, into the secret of Mibayin Shnei Akruvim. Kol Gei Yenase Kol Shafar V'namlech Yenase Beginach Te'ini Yisrael. That what does it mean? What are you protecting? It's the Jewish people. Te'inin Shvelin Mikol Umma Velishin. The nation that is despised, the nation that is broken down more than any other nation. Moshe Rabbeinu, you are there to protect them. And all of the mountains and all of the valleys and all of those things that appear to be lofty in this world are going to be reduced. The Inan Rishia the Gase Ruach, the Rishayim and the enemies of Klai Yisrael and the arrogant ones and the Erev Rav and all of the different elements that are the Klip of the Das of Moshe, those things are going to be reduced. Moshe Rabbeinu is the one who's doing the heavy lifting. The Tzadikim and Amitim are doing the work. Mechoikek. Moshe Rabbeinu is referred to as the Mechoikek. The secret, the Ramchal says, of that Neshama that's hidden within the snake, as Rabbi Nachman describes, the Neshamos, the Tzadik has to go in to force the snake to throw up those Neshamos 
that are stuck in the Nachash, and when the Tzaddik is in there, he begins to fight against the Nachash from within until it appears that the Nachash is still functioning, but nevertheless, the innards of the Nachash have been hollowed out because of the inner work of the Avoida of the Tzaddik Emma, so the Avoida of the Shamir who eats through from the inside out, and then all it's going to take is for Klai Yisrael to flick the last wall of the Nachash, and it's going to fall, and it's going to be as if we did it on our own, even though it was all through the Kayach of the Das of Moshe. And so Moshe Rabbeinu is busy, busy, all the tzaddikim are busy, all of us are busy reducing the concealment from the inside, and that's why we can't necessarily see the revelation on the outside. We have to believe that this is the process of drawing Moshe Rabbeinu into Eretz Yisrael. It's preparing, it's undoing all of the rishas, all of the gase ruach, to reveal the secret of Anava, the high ihu, that it's the chaburos that Moshe Rabbeinu encounters, the difficulty, the churban that Moshe Rabbeinu has to go through that is going to bring the refua to us. Your connectivity, the tzaddikim amitim, their ability to come down to Klai Yisrael, Moshe Rabbeinu's ability to come down to Klai Yisrael, not only that, but only care about Klai Yisrael. The only thing that he cares about is Klai Yisrael. The inner nekuda of the ayin ba'ayin, which is the true desire of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that's the secret of Moshe Rabbeinu. It's specifically through the chabur that you have with us, Moshe Rabbeinu, all of the tzaddikim, begalus in the times of exile, in the rapalanu. That's going to be the source of our healing. That's going to be the source of tshuva. That's going to be the source of the return to Eretz soul will return to the body. The Antu Kashimsha Dnahir. You're like the sun that shines. The Afagav de Iskanish Balaila. That even though that Nishama, that Nishama of the Tzadik of Moshe Avdo, Vayaminu Bahashem of Moshe Avdo, even though the illumination and the path of Taurus Moshe that enables us to connect properly to Akadish Baruch Hu is not revealed, it still shines like the brilliance of the sun. The Antu Kashimsha Dnahir. You're like the sun that shines. Moshe Abinu is the face of the sun and Yeshua is the face of the moon. The Afagav de Iskanish Balaila, even though it seems that you're removed and the nighttime, even though it seems that you're absent in the night, Nahirhu Basihira, you reveal yourself in the moon. The light of the Tzadika Mamitim is always revealed in the Tamida Mamitim. Without that, we don't have anything. The Nair Tamid is the secret of the Tamida Mamitim and the Beis Medrash and Nikol Shemat Tzadik that has the capacity to draw the upper Yud back into Eretz Yisrael. The lower Yud, the Sihara, Yehoshua, the Talmud Chai of the Tzadik Emes is the one who has the capacity of drawing down the light of the Tzadik Emes back into Eretz Yisrael and the secret of Yehoshua who brings the Das of Moshe into Eretz Yisrael, the Yitachton that brings the Yud Elyon down through the Vav into Eretz Yisrael itself. That's the secret, that even though the sun appears to be concealed in the nighttime, nevertheless it's revealed by way of the illumination of the moon itself, as well as all of the constellations and the stars. The light of the Tzadik Emes is never far. So too, Moshe Rabbeinu, you reveal yourself within all of the Poiskim and within all of the Tamid Chachamim and the Das of Moshe and Moshe Shapir Kamat and the extended Torah of Moshe Rabbeinu, which is every prat of word of Torah that any of us will ever conceive in any of the radical acrobatics of thinking that we go through in order to uncover the possibility of doing more and growing more, all of that is contained within the mind of Moshe and you, Moshe Rabbeinu, the Das of Moshe, the Das Pnimius, which is the point in which HaKadosh Baruch Hu does, allows his light to descend down into this world, the, the Kav or Ein Sof, that is Yorid, into the Torah itself, into the Torah of Moshe, the way that operates, it's like the sun that illuminates the moon, even when the sun is not present, revealing the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that is always revealed, as well as the fact that it's like the, the irrigating spring that moves slowly in a space of concealment so as to irrigate the roots of the tree, even though we can't see the process of that irrigation. It's taking place in a concealed level. Moshe Rabbeinu is buried within each and every one of us, and each and every one of us have to attune ourselves to the Das of Moshe within ourselves, and to open up our mouths like Moshe Rabbeinu, and to overcome the desire of Shlach Nabi Atishlach, to feel that, no, it's not me, it should be somebody else, and to overcome that, and to be like Moshe Rabbeinu, who is capable of Boyo Paro, to enter into the place of Paro, and to uncover the Os Aleph that's within the base, to uncover the connectivity that rests within the heart of the Simpson. Each and every one of us is tasked with unveiling, unveiling and revealing our Nakuda of Taurus Moshe within us, to reveal the Moshe Shapir Ka'amar, to reveal the Hirure Tshuva that come out through the Das of Moshe within us, and the secret of the Shofar, and the secret of the Shir Pashat Kafel Moshul Dushim Ruba. And this is what it means, the Afutzumai Nosecha Achutza, that your Torah shall spread forth outwards. This is what the Baal Shem Tov was told by Mashiach Tzidkenu. The Baal Shem Tov is just another iteration of Moshe Rabbeinu. Mashiach is just another iteration of Moshe Rabbeinu. Yafutzumai Nosecha Achutza.
the waters of Moshe Rabbeinu are going to extend outwards. The Antu of Hachi Kashim Shada Azab If you're like the sun that shines in the times of the winter, Techois Mavoyim, that are underneath the clouds, the Kadmata Perkonate Kashimsha. And when the time arrives, it's going to shine like the sun in the secret of Mashiach Tzidkenu, in the secret of the train Mashiach, and the Azal Bakayats, and it's going to be revealed in the summertime, Laela above Mavoyim, above all of the clouds. Viet Soininin Berachme, and you will bring down coolness. And relief with compassion, the Kadant Troisayu Inan Khamin Bedina, because when you're concealed, we're 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 burning with din. But a Kadush Baruch is going to reveal the Dasa Moshe that is going to bring the cooling waters, the cooling, cooling waters of Tyrus Moshe and the emergence of Moshe Abenu into Eretz Israel and the transformation of every moment of difficulty and ani into the stepping stone to reveal more ayin. And every encounter with the body as an opportunity to refine the soul, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of that which Das of Moshe teaches us, the responsibility of being bain bishmad, bain baratzon, the natural ability to descend downwards and then suddenly and immediately to transform that natural proclivity to descend downwards, to become a vessel, to reveal even more. Asya Raya Mahemna, Raya Mahemna, Moshe Rabbeinu, the Nisham of Moshe Rabbeinu emerges in the Zayar Kadush, Baruch Lebutzina Kadisha, and he gives a bracha to the Butzina Kadisha, to the secret of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Chachma gives a bracha to the Bina. Chachma is being Megal itself within the Bima. The Amar, and what does Moshe Rabbeinu say? Vadai Antu de Nahirli Bezimna de Itmar Alaihu Kibah Hashemesh. Kibah Hashemesh. De Ishkachich Nuhura Yehirava de Hashem Yayur Shmeyalech. This is the secret of what it means that when the sun sets, when the sun sets and the darkness arise, it should be the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that the name should shine forth, that the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu should shine forth through the tzaddikim, that the neshama of Moshe Rabbeinu should be revealed through each and every one of us, that we should be able to bring Moshe Rabbeinu from Tzalma the Lav into the proper belly of place to reveal Moshe Shapir Kamar to reveal how Moshe Rabbeinu is buried within the Vav of Gachon, within that elongated Vav in the belly of the snake in the Hastar Shabbatoch Hastar. It's specifically from there that Moshe Rabbeinu has the secret of Isha Kushish Lachas, which is the redemption of the rectification of the Madame, of his Spoididus, of transforming ourselves into vessels for the Hiskalis of the Torah, Chadashim Itatise, the secret of the Torah of Atika Stima'o, where each and every person is going to be like Moshe, Kimosha. Kimosha. Only through the Kayach of Moshe that exists within us are we capable of being Kimosha. Because Moshe is Moshe, but each and every one of us has that Kayach of Chela Kaloi Kaimimal in that place of Yechidish Abanefesh. Each and every one of us operates in the place of Minamai Mishisu, that we're drawn from a place that's higher than the concealment of this world. We're drawn from an original place of Mayim, of Meimei Ha'elion, of the Chesed, Verachamim Kolayom, and the secret of Avram Avinu, and the secret that all HaKadosh Baruch wants to do is reveal his good, Kichoi Katoiv Lehetiv, in the secret that it should be revealed. Revealed as a toy of Hanir of Hanigla, Lamatim Esar Tfachim, Bezrus Hashem.